Hello and welcome back to Cost Electronics Switzerland. My today's job is to clone a ECU from a Volkswagen Golf 5. This here is the original one from the car. Story is this car comes from a local dealership and the car was sitting long outside and the battery was flat. And after that the shop owner tried to jump start the car, but accidentally he connected the jump package reverse. Now this ECU is dead and I found another one from the scrapyard. The part number is the same, also the Bosch number is the same, but this number here is different. I don't know what exactly this number means, maybe it's the software version, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do now is to try to make a full BDM read of the original one with my KTAC tool and copy all the original data to the replacement unit. With this method I have no problems with the immobilizer data and anything else. I should be able to connect the replacement unit to the car and without programming plug and play. I do this also because I have no login code for this replacement unit. The scrapyard was not able to provide me this. Now I'm open it up and this here is the BDM port. Unluckily I have no BDM frame, I have to hold this connector with my fingers down. I don't like it, but I have no other choice at the moment. Let's go to the software, select the car. Uh, Volkswagen uh, Golf 1K, where is it? Golf 5. 1K here, engine code is BLX. This here, okay, I know. This is the correct protocol, okay. Make a full backup. Now I should have three hands. I hope I connected right. Yes. <coughs> By the way, I'm ESD grounded when I touch such sensitive electronics. This is a really a good idea to do. Now let's see if we can read this old unit. Let's see. Mm, not so bad for the first lock. look. Oh, it works! <laughs> so, let's doing its thing and I have to wait now and I hope my fingers don't slip until it's finished. Okay, job is done. I have to wait. My finger is still alive. Okay, let's write the data back to the replacement unit. Okay, writing is started. Yes. Now let's wait again. Now it's done. Yes. <laughs> this time my finger. Oh, that was hard. I have to buy a BDM frame.
for the outer seal I used this material from MIPA this is for car body repairs it's a very long life and elastic material which uh, is weather resistant um, in extreme conditions very good stuff and for the heat surface heat uh, sink surface here I use a two component heat conductive it comes from a uh, the PC industry but uh, I've made good experience with this and let's apply this now okay job done ready to put back in the car <laughs> 